Hi guys, this is Luke. I'll be showing you some stuff running on the Ouya. I've got it here next to a Rubik's Cube for size comparison. Let's get this powered on. So I think it's a gorgeous piece of equipment. Check out this controller. Black and gray, and the back's one solid piece. The handles are sized well. It fits. It's very comfortable. No screws until you take off these magnetic faceplates, and you can get to the batteries and the screws to take the controller apart. Uh, I did read a couple of reviews of people complaining that the buttons and analog stick got caught on the faceplate, but if the faceplate's tight, then the analog stick moves freely and the button doesn't get caught at all. The center is a touchpad. Uh, it's a little bit small, so I tend to run off, especially on the bottom but you can mouse and you can click with it. All right, let's get this paired up. And there we go. All right, so here's your main Ouya menu. Play is your catalog of downloaded games. Discover is where you download new games and apps. Make is where you access builds if you're a developer or other pieces of software like the browser. And manage has all your system settings and Android settings uh, and uh, downloads from the browser. Alright, so first thing I want to show you, All right, Xbox Media Center. I've got it downloaded. There's a, there will be a video in the description and link uh, about how to get that installed. It was really easy, and I've got it all set up now, so my library is intact. Uh, it's connecting via Wi-Fi to my desktop right now through the local area network. And uh, let's see, it's good. The interface is a little bit choppy sometimes, um, but it's, it works fine, very responsive. Uh, let's get something pretty demanding here. Uh, Cabin in the Woods, 1080p. Resume that. So you don't get the full benefit of seeing it in person, but it's definitely HD and it runs very smoothly. Don't have to tweak uh, with the audio sync at all. Bring up pause interface. Uh, the menu makes it lag a little bit upon opening and closing, but that happens on my desktop anyway. All right, so there's that. All right, back to the menu. Uh, next thing I want to show you is Netflix. Uh, this is a tablet version, so it isn't very optimized. Uh, there's no pause interface. There's actually no pause, so it's either playing or it's not. Um, but here's the touchpad working as a mouse, and I'm actually going to show you the third thing um, right here. Blueboard. You can download the Ouya part through Discover, and here's uh, the Android phone or tablet portion through Google Play. It's all free, making your device work as a Bluetooth keyboard. Much easier than Hunt and Peck with the touchpad. Uh, it's a little difficult to type because it doesn't use the Android default keyboard. So, uh, I'll... it's uh, it's going to take some time to get used to. I might just buy a cheap USB keyboard. All right. So you can probably see there's a little bit of delay between on Netflix between what I do when I hit the button and when it responds um, and it starts really low quality every time for a couple minutes it's just unwashable but uh, it starts to clear up uh, you can see it's kinda getting better but I've never been able to get real HD on here um, XBMC is a lot better. All right, so that's that's my video. Thanks for thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and links in the description. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, peace.